Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now this isn't the normal kind of product I test on this channel, but I thought it was kind of interesting given its size, output power and frequency coverage when expanded. Now this is the Radio Oddity CS47 and at first glance it looks like a normal 40 channel CB radio. Now this is one of those CB radios that if you power on holding a specific function button, you can choose the 40 channel band for your country, but it does have an interesting modification which I'll show you shortly. What you will instantly notice is that this radio is completely controlled by the hand speaker microphone and the main radio unit does not have any controls on it. Usual kind of accessories are supplied like the manual, a mic bracket, etc. But as mentioned before, all controls are on the speaker mic. On the bottom of the main unit, there appears to be a speaker grill, but to confirm, there is no speaker behind this grill, so it appears this is used for airflow to assist cooling. Well, maybe. On the front, we find just one socket, which is where the speaker microphone plugs into, and on the rear, we find a smallish heatsink along with an SO239 socket, which is used for connecting your antenna. There's also a 3.5mm socket for an extension speaker. However, in my testing, the audio that comes from the speaker mic is very loud and very clear. Now, the DC power cable is not removable and it's fixed into the rear of the main unit. Now, the speaker mic itself does have a good weight and feel, not as plasticky and cheap as I initially thought it would. An easy to remove RJ45 connector is used to connect the mic to the main unit, although the cable is not removable from the speaker mic end. On the front of the speaker mic, we find five push buttons. And if you look closely, that's where the small microphone hole is located. So that's where you talk into. And the main PTT button is located on the left. And on the top, we find three more function buttons, one for power on and off, and the other two for changing channels. Now powering on the CS47 while holding the AF button allows you to choose which set of 40 channels you want to use. Cycling through these allow you to choose which country band is selected. Pressing and holding the F key enters into the settings, with the first setting allowing you to change the background colour of the display. Now there are a few to choose from, each of them are easy to read, and I must point out that the weird lighting while recording this clip made it look like the display was not easy to read, but that's just a camera effect, and in real life it actually looks quite good. Now going through the menu after changing the background colour, we can turn on or off the button beeps. Now the next menu allows you to choose a Roger bleep that sounds at the end of every transmission. The next menu allows you to change mic gain settings. Then we have a scan type, whether it's squelch or a timed scan. We then have a Vox sensitivity and then a Vox delay time for using hands free. There's also an RF gain control, which the default is actually set to off. A timeout timer is also selectable, with the default set to three minutes. But for those of you that like to waffle on, you can change it and turn it off. A high cut setting is available with the default set to off. And then moving on to the next, we have a transmit noise reduction. And the best setting so far is being one, which actually is the default setting. A receive noise reduction is also available. And the best setting in my opinion on this is also one, which is also the default value. The radio also supports CTCSS, which means you can assign multiple radios to use the same CTCSS tone. And only those that have the correct tone will be able to break through that squelch. Now that's similar to what we see on PMR radios that use DCS. Incidentally, the CS47 also supports DCS. And lastly, we have a factory default function if you want to return the radio back to the settings it was shipped with from the factory. Now, I don't have a tuned antenna for the 11 meter band, but conditions were quite good at the time of recording this video. And I managed to receive some stations using my NFED half wave antenna. So let's just take a quick listen. Um, 
Jesus is one three seven a kilo. Germany, hello, my friend, or stand on mix. <laughs> And radio 345 is no problem. Hello, what's your name, please? Yeah, I'm Again. Yeah, have a nice uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday, okay, a nice weekend. Uh, uh, bye. Okay, 73, 51, bye bye. Come on, all. No, I hope it's excited. Schlag, Seko, Deutschland, hier auf der Österreich. Nein, Platz. Nein, Platz 2. Nein, Platz 2. My God, my God. It's quite dark here around. It's quite dark, but you need um, half an hour to uh, adapt your your eyes, yeah, to the um, to the to the darkness. And uh, today night we will have the maximum um, at midnight. And uh, yeah, I will prepare a little good uh, little little uh, can of East German coffee, of course, with a lot of milk. <laughs> and, uh, I will hunt not the spider, but the, uh, the meteors, Roger. And radio five. You have a strong signal. Uh, yeah, you select this 9,000, 8 watts, top range is 8 watts, over. Cuba Frequence 1, free hotel November 476, still listening and standing by. Yago. You're doing a good job, my friend, got you coming 575 at 9, and we are in London, England, over. Okay, my friend, from London, okay. I wish you all the best, definitely bye to you, okay, and... Keep safe, okay? Bye-bye, good luck. Yeah, you take care of that crowd. You've got yourself a good mobile station there, man. You take it easy and good DX. Ciao, ciao. Okay, ciao, ciao. So in my opinion, the audio coming from this little speaker mic actually sounds rather decent, even when recorded using a microphone on the camera. So this little radio can be put into what we call export mode, which enables two main features. The first is changing the channel bands to letters A to N, plus giving a dedicated bank of channels for the UK 2781 band, essentially allowing the radio to transmit on AM and FM between around 25 up to 30 MHz, including the 10 meter handband. The second feature that's enabled is enabling the RF output to be set in three levels, and the maximum of those is around 15 watts. To activate the export mode, simply remove the top cover of the radio and then move the jumper from position 1 to 2 to 2 to 3 and then just power back on the radio. And as you can see here, we do actually get around 15 watts on high power setting, even a little more on some of the other bands. Now transmitted audio, well, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and zero DQW testing. For those of you that noticed that little suspicious white wire near the jumper we used to change the radio into export mode, it's just begging to be cut. So let's see what it does. Well, with the white wire cut and export mode jumper in position two to three, the CS47 now operates as a 10 meter handband radio covering FM and AM. Now the frequency range is then fixed from 28 megahertz up to 29.695 megahertz and that's in five kilohertz steps. Output power is just the same, a smidge over 15 watts on FM. Now, as mentioned before, CTCSS is still supported in ham mode, but unfortunately there's no offset setting, meaning you cannot operate through 10 meter FM repeaters easily. At the time of recording this video, the CS47 from Radio Oddity costs around $80. Now I'll leave a link in the description for a discount code if you want to get one of these neat little radios. And once the export mod has been performed, it turns into a great little radio covering a wide range of frequencies with a modest power output. Anyway guys, if you've got one of these radios and you use it on 10 meters, or even if you use it on 11 meters, let me know how you get on with it down in the comments below. Until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.